y'all. You girl already got a few write ups for Bailey. channel welcome to my channel if you guys are new here if you guys are new make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course watch this video all the way through so i'm kind of in a rush right now but i'm actually about to go out tonight i'm going out with one of my co-workers for the first time so i'm gonna try to vlog a little bit tonight i don't know because you know i don't think my co-workers really know that i'm a youtuber so we're about to go out we're about to go to this little it's called the electric cowboy and Last time I went, it was like a little bit country. Well, a lot of it country, like line dancing and all that type of stuff. Yeah, we really didn't want to drive like 45 minutes to Nashville. So we're just going somewhere local. So we'll see how that goes. It's been a while. I've only been one time. And when I went, it was literally like when we first moved here. So, I mean, hopefully we'll have a good time tonight. But I just wanted to go ahead and introduce the vlog and yes y'all i feel like i don't know i'm feeling a little awkward because i don't have my lash extensions and this is literally the first time i have not had my lash extensions since january like i'm literally wearing strip lashes so i'm feeling a little bit self-conscious like i just feel like it's not really giving and it's just messing up my whole makeup look <sighs> but whatever i mean nigel say he liked me better without the lashes but i'm like no like guys always be like they love you better natural baby i need my lashes and i have two more days until my lash appointment so and i just have this cute little up down style what are the curls giving like perfection like, i don't know like they're looking perfect and if you guys have not saw my hair reel that i did make sure to check that out that is how i achieved these curls and y'all let me find out that youtube shorts is where it's at because let me tell you all i posted this this short on saturday literally within 15 minutes it had over a thousand views like i not even exaggerating right now i think it's at like five thousand views and i'm just like it hasn't even been a whole day so i was like is this a glitch I'm like, there's no way, but I guess YouTube Shorts is where it's at. I mean, they are short, so you don't really get paid much from it, but you do get that traction to your page. I did develop a few new subscribers from it, so yeah, I think I'm about to start doing YouTube Shorts, but I'm already running late. It's 10.03. We were supposed to be leaving at 10, so let me stop talking and let's go. Yeah. You say you want me, I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I'm in it more than oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got potential, I can't explain. You're so persuasive, I made some changes. Oh yeah. Yeah. You say you want me, I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I'm in it more than oh yeah. Oh. I can't explain. It's so persuasive. I made some change. Y'all yeah, better come up here and get one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. From where? 81st Deli. What's on it? Superior. I got chicken, pickles. Pick up where we left off You and I had lots of love Just to top it off We can wind it down for days Never let it stop I just want your everything, baby Maybe later we can dance Never let it go Listen to our favorite songs On the radio Losing up and lose ourselves To this feeling, oh I just want your everything, baby I'll be deep under your influence
is a few days later i'm actually off today i'll go back to work tomorrow it is currently 12 41 i'm just not getting on a vlog but i have been up pretty much since eight o'clock i had a lash appointment this morning finally got my lashes done I don't know what's been going on with my lashes, y'all, but they have not been lasting two weeks. I go faithfully every two weeks, and probably for like the last three times, they have been falling out after the first week. And when I get to my lash appointment, it's like pretty much like a full set. So I don't know what's going on with my eyelashes. I don't know if it's the weather because it's getting cooler outside. I don't know what's going on. But she suggested that I take a break. I don't know. I did like a four day break. I really, it's going to be hard. Like I seriously have an addiction to getting my lashes done. I would even go weekly if I could. But she said she is starting to do like a flash appointment. So it'll be one hour long, $45. So I might take her up on an offer. But nonetheless, I did do four days with no lashes like and that was my first time not having lashes since january <laughs> but yeah y'all so pretty much i'm just preparing for work tomorrow i'm actually about to make me a snack because i'm super hungry i have these packages i have to unbox maybe some strawberries and some whipped cream but i just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know what was going on so pretty much what else i gotta do i gotta go to the post office i have to hopefully make the gym and then I'm cooking dinner today. I'm going to cook tacos. It is Tuesday. So we are cooking Taco Tuesday today. And yeah, y'all. I actually have to meet Nigel on base. So I have to drive there in about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like an OG. And they want to the team on me. I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on hey. my I just finished my strawberries very very filling I feel very fulfilled now so now I'm about to open these Amazon packages I was saving them so I could share them with y'all so now we're here so now I'm about to do this unboxing I got Loki here he's all up in my space so we're gonna try to maneuver around here so this package is from Jayla's Jayla Majette's new line that she came out with. It is like a boric acid supplement and I just kind of got put on to boric acid and I have the Honey Pot one but then when Jayla dropped hers I'm like I love Jayla so I have to support her and plus like you know who doesn't want a boric acid supplement it's like come on now. It's called Eye the Impressed. Their boric acid suppository and it's called I the Empress in this world, not of it. We'll see how these work out. I'm pretty sure they're gonna pretty much be the same as the boric acid that I already had. But yes, y'all, and they were only I think they were only like $30, nothing too crazy. But yes, go ahead and support Jayla. So another Amazon package. And these are like the African nets. I don't even know what to call them. Like the African nets, pretty much they're just like a loofah rag. So I know, if y'all know, then y'all know. But they call it African nets. I will link all of the Amazon products down below, of course. And you guys can check them out. But they're pretty much just loofah rags. I'm not sure what this is actually. Oh, a book. I forgot I ordered this. Y'all, I just be ordering stuff like, okay, so this book is called How Successful People Think. So I see like somebody had posted a quote from this book and I was like, hmm, this seemed like a good book. So I went ahead and ordered it because I'm trying to work on myself and I'm trying to be more successful so so and I have a and I have a lot of goals and part of my goals is to start reading more and just brightening up my mind and yes so I brought this book it actually like just skimming through it it seems like an easy read 
Y'all know I was reading um, 48 Laws of Power. However, that book is a hard read, y'all. It is a hard read. I might have to just do an audi audible for that book. I don't know. But this book doesn't seem like such a hard read. So I'm excited about reading this. I will keep you guys updated. And of course, I will link this down below. So I also have, I was going to do a separate video on these. But I don't know. I thought that I probably wouldn't get views if I just did a whole video on this. So I wanted to wear these for my birthday. However, it didn't work out. But I got them now, so now we need to plan a vacation so I can wear these. And they are, I'm excited y'all, the Laura Bay, Laura Bay glasses. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I got the glasses details. So, ooh, I'm super excited y'all. My camera's about to die. Hopefully, I can show y'all the glasses first. Hooray. I'm excited, y'all. Cool. Yes, y'all. Yes. Y'all, where are we going? Miami, Cali, Vegas, like, let's take a trip. Oh, so Nigel canceled on me. I was supposed to meet him on base for something, but he cancels. All right, y'all, so I am getting ready to run my errands, but I forgot to tell y'all, 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 I might have told y'all this. I can't remember if I told y'all this or not, but my camera broke. My camera broke, so I'm using one of the lenses that I have that I actually really don't like. And it's crazy because literally for like the past couple weeks, I've been saying I want to buy a new camera. I want to get my Canon G7X back. If y'all don't know about the Canon G7X, that's pretty much the vlogging camera of like all time like everybody has or has had in their youtube career the canon g7x and that was the first camera i started out with it lasted me i think about two years lasted me about two years and then it started having some issues with the sound and when i got another camera i ended up just getting the canon m50 which i really really like it is a really good camera but the lens that i have on it broke so now i'm using a lens on it that i don't like and also it is a really good camera however the reason why i've been considering getting a new camera is because it's just so big y'all like the canon m50 is huge and for me to vlog like i already feel kind of like i already feel like really awkward vlogging again but with the camera having this big old camera carrying around everywhere trying to vlog in public like that is just very it makes it more difficult whereas the canon g7x is a smaller camera you can take it with you you can slip it in your purse and that's another thing also like with the can with this camera it's so hard to carry around because it's so big like so it's hard for me to just slip in my purse it has this long strap with canon g7x you just it's that camera y'all have seen this camera everybody has this camera so um you it has like the little wristband strap so I could just wear it on my wrist and it's very subtle and it's not too much and I just miss my Canon M7X so hopefully in this vlog we can go pick it up they don't have it at the Best Buy near my house so I would have to drive like 45 minutes out probably um, to Nashville to get it so maybe in this vlog I will get it. I am going to Atlanta this weekend. Again, I know I was just in Atlanta in the last vlog. But, um, I was only in Atlanta for a day. 
and I miss my parents I miss my friends like I miss everybody I was invited to like two Halloween parties here but I'm going to Atlanta and we literally like have no plans we have costumes with no plans y'all so I actually want to get the camera before I go to Atlanta this weekend it's currently Tuesday so if I'm gonna order it I need to be ordering it like today so if they do need to ship it it'll at least be here about by Thursday then I can pick it up Thursday and I'm leaving for Atlanta Thursday night so yes y'all but Nigel actually canceled on me so I don't have to drive all the way to the army base which I'm grateful about because I did not feel like driving all the way to the army base so now I'm about to yeah now I have more time to go to the gym for sure like I have no excuse now like I need to take my butt to the gym so I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna go to post office I may or may not get a car wash so we'll see y'all I'm about to do a voiceover because I lost my freaking SD card um the whole Halloween weekend so I'm about to just tell y'all what we have going on with the footage that I do have so me and Nigel did do a date night we went to this restaurant called the aquarium restaurant the food was so nasty y'all definitely don't recommend two out of ten disgusting nasty would not go back and just nasty we also ended up getting a hotel for the weekend, which I do have footage of, and I will give you guys a room tour. But here are our costumes. We were Hugh Hefner and Playboy Bunny. Too freaking cute, y'all. So we did try to take pictures this night. Here's our room. It's not as big as it usually is, but it'll do. Nothing crazy, y'all. Bathroom. There's me. I'm about to show y'all my outfit. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. I was going to wear heels, but I decided against that. So I'm just wearing this dress from amazon my my ugg slides and yes y'all will link this dress down below i definitely need to get some more colors because this is too cute cute winter dress good morning you guys so today is tuesday morning i'm currently on the way to work right now last clip you guys saw me and Bay went out for Halloween. We had a really good night. We did meet a group of people. They were cool, like besides one of the girls saying the N-word all night. Like, it was a cool group of people. So, I got one of the girls Instagram, but I honestly don't know if we would hang out again. I don't know, like she kept saying all night that we're gonna be friends, we're gonna hang out again. But, um, I just don't know. And it was like, it was a white girl. It was two white girls and um they were with well it was one black guy and i guess she was with the black guy so i mean i just feel like just because you with a black guy don't mean don't give you the right to say the n-word and i don't know like it's like tricky i i never been in that situation to have where i had like a white friend say the n-word but I mean, I guess it can be a little bit tricky just because if they're singing a song and it's in the song, it's not okay. Cause I don't even say the word. I, I've never said the word. So I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I doubt we'll hang out again though, <laughs> but 
yeah we did we were with them for like most of the night we only went to one one spot and they was we was pretty much with each other there and then we just went home afterwards but y'all it is tuesday morning i'm feeling a little heavy right now i woke up this morning i woke up this morning at like five o'clock go on youtube because that's what i do and i see somebody went live saying migo's death so i click on the video they saying that takeoff passed away i go on twitter i'm seeing more stuff that say takeoff had passed away then i scroll on youtube again scroll some more and it's saying that takeoff was confirmed dead by TMZ and it's just crazy because literally I was literally just watching that Drake Champs interview like last week and I was thinking oh they seem really humble they seem down to earth I don't know them in person but based off the video they seem humble and that's just very sad like it's just sad just like we gotta do better y'all and apparently I don't know how true it is but apparently it was somebody in their friends group that shot him but it's just like we gotta do better like we have to do better like it's too much shootings killings like for for what what I heard it said that it was from a dice fight that got a little too serious but it's just sad that a dice game could lead to somebody dying. Like, that's just really unnecessary. Just unnecessary. And I've been listening to their album, like, while I've been at the gym and stuff. It's just sad. Like, I really hope it's not true. I really, really, really hope it's not true. But, uh, I don't know, y'all. But, yes, y'all, I am off tomorrow. I work today. Off tomorrow been back for two days <sighs> I was off for four days but I feel like I wasn't even off for real y'all like I don't know hopefully I make it in time because y'all you girl already got a few write ups for being late oh, I know I know I'm terrible but I'm I'm real. I'm telling y'all, I'm real. I'm late. I'm I'm a late person. I be late. And it is what it is. And it's not even I be late late. Every time I've been late, it's one minute late. Literally, one minute late. So I'm about to run like I always do every day. Run to the top clock machine. It's like these cars be driving so slow. We got somewhere to go. Like, come on now. People, folks got ride-ups already. Y'all want to drive slow. Like, what, what's up with that? 